Hi, so I know I've made a few of these in a row, it's based on the graphene air cathode made from our graphene ink. And if you want constructional details, have a look at the improved magnesium air battery. All the details are there on how to make these things. These are basically a um, bit of plastic pipe, so it looks like that. Drill some holes in it so we get that, and I wrap that around with a piece of cloth I dipped in our ink, which is that. So it's only um, ordinary dishcloth, incidentally. I'm just looking for where it went to. Here it is. So it's just ordinary dishcloth, dipped in the ink, dried, wrapped around that, a bit of separator. But there are four constructional details in that video improved magnesium oxide. Now, if you have a look at this, we were looking at metal air batteries, and you'll see a coil of copper wire wound around uh, a blue interior and that blue is uh, the electrolyte and it looks like a copper air battery which you'd think oh hey copper air who'd have thought um, but copper doesn't make a good air battery and that is not what you think it is that blue color actually is prussian blue it's iron hexacyanoferrate now i made it by dipping the thing in a potassium hexacyanoferrate which is this orange yellow solution here so you just make that up at one molar with some of this stuff potassium hexacyanoferrate dissolve it in a bit of water make up a one molar solution dip that in then you dip it into um, any iron salt doesn't matter iron sulfate iron chloride doesn't matter and it'll form prussian blue which is that blue color now this is sensitive to oxygen and sunlight so in the air, under the sun, that Prussian blue will bleach to Prussian white. Then when you connect it, it will discharge, giving you a charge. Now, it doesn't have a very high voltage, about 0.5 of a volt. And this one's busily discharging, and it's discharging nicely. When it's discharged, you can turn it off and leave it in the sunlight and the air. It will recharge itself. And that is stunningly awesome. So... On discharge, it'll go white, and then it'll turn, uh, sorry, on discharge, it'll go blue, and then it'll turn white again, just by leaving it in the air and in the sun, and it's ready for another discharge. So there is a self-charging air battery, and that's what I mean about these air cathodes and this particular structure, and about how much there is to investigate. There's an absolute ton of things to investigate, including self-charging batteries. Now, like I say, these aren't particularly high-powered, but you get a lot of them, and you can really do something with them, especially as they basically last forever and charge themselves in the sun. That, I think, is really awesome and well worth investigating. So I thought I'd share it with you. I hope it was of interest, and thank you very much for watching.